It's one of the most common elements on the periodic table, but supplies of helium are drying up. The government produces most of it, but has scaled back on production. Matt Markham reveals some of the ways the shortage may impact your life. The first and perhaps most obvious place impacted by a helium shortage, a party supply store, which now won't even rent its tanks. The suppliers who we purchased from have told us that to expect that we will not get our full order of helium going forward. Helium floats on air to Jerry's store from underground mines, but the supply is being tapped out. The helium prices in the last year have gone up uh, probably 40%. And they tell me that starting in February, it may go up another 25 to 50 percent. But if a helium shortage got any worse, it would be no laughing matter for the medical community. How much does the radiology department rely on liquid helium? Um, liquid helium is critical to uh, our MRIs as it allows the MRIs to uh, function at absolute zero. The MRI machines must cool to that temperature in order for the powerful magnets to work properly. We maintain a, a certain level in the magnets and they're topped off whenever they're needed. But is the supply low enough now for the hospital to worry? We have not been told that that is imminent at this point in time. The cost of helium will likely continue to rise in the foreseeable future along with the demand for it. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. Albany Med used to have to purchase helium for its MRI machines every few months, but thanks to evolving technology, they can now go a couple of years between those purchases.